All right, tubes. This is the, well, the Lady Garden Snapper, I believe. Yep, by Snapper. Four and a half horse, uh, something or other. But it needs to be tuned up a little bit. It's got one of those stupid bubble carburetors on it. And uh, same customer also wants me to do his other machines too, so that's good. Anyways, uh, this morning I had to do a Arians, I don't know, It's uh has the uh, swivel wheels in the front, and it's kind of like that mower right there, except it's got swivel wheels. The engine blew up, so I put a, oh, I don't I forget the horsepower, but I had to tap all the screws in, and it was pretty awesome. Uh, in four hours, I tuned up a Toro, you know, stupid box tractor, you know, stamp tractor. Um, I did a gearbox seal in a Arians, and I repl I did the engine on a push mower. And yeah, so I am on a roll today. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by, uh, what should I do first? Hmm. Cleaning the bottom. Good idea. So I'm going to start by cleaning the bottom. And we'll move the tripod. That blade's just good. It's real good. So, I believe that is five eighths. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, I'm wrong. And it would be nine sixteenths. Yep. Ah, stupid gun. Then it doesn't like this. Uh... Trash can. With all the stinky poo in there. What should I get? My trusty scraper. Alright tubes, um, this blade, I'm going to go with it's dead, it's pretty rounded on the sides there, uh, it's got a good, let me throw this in the macro here, yeah that's a good one, yeah that's an even better one, and yeah so, and this one's even worse, so we're going to just Go ahead and replace this blade here, because that is scrap. Scrap metal! Alright, uh, now that that's all clean, it looks pretty good. So we're going to start on the carburetor job here. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to change the oil. So... 
we got we got the pan. Save these pans. These are great. Unscrew it and let it go. Ooh, that's nasty. Sorry, none of y'all saw that, but that's what you get when you don't get a camera guy. So that's what we got going on there. That oil smells like gas to me. Holy crap. Yeah, that's not good stuff. So, I'm going to drain that out. Alright, now we're going to tackle the carburetor. So, let's actually take this stupid foolish thing off first. That actually looks really good, so we're not even going to replace that. We'll just blow it out with this. And it will be just as good as new. Save the customer some money. Uh, and since this was a uh, trash pick ordeal, you know what? Screw that. Good. I've been working on machines all day. My brain's a little, a little backwards today. So I hope you don't mind me. Uh, going crazy a little bit. And I do wear gloves out here because there's no sink that I can wash my hands on or at. Oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, what? What is what? What is that? I have never seen anything like this in my life. That looks like, what? Holy crap, that thing is corroded. Wow, I have never seen that in my life. Look at this. I will zoom in a little bit. That is supposed to be pretty silver and right in there, above the bowl, and it's not. Huh, crazy. So we'll clean this out. All right, now we're on the table saw, and we got all of our carburetor goodies in here. Uh, so let's get going on that. First off, let's dump that out. Pretty much clean. Uh, looks like we have a nicely plugged jet, or this jet just doesn't have holes in it, or something. So that's dumb. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our wires, even though it has no holes in it. Usually these have holes in them. So I'm going to take this brass bowl out of here. I'll clean that last. And we're just going to soak that down. Now I'm not sure if these gloves are allergic to this stuff. I think the blue ones are the ones that aren't. So these gloves are probably going to cave in on me in a minute. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Fill this up. Let that sit. Now, let's go over here and do the same deal here. This one involves compressed air now. And you don't want to get it too close to that bubble, but, you know, get it all in there. Take this guy off. If you hear that humming noise, that's the stupid uh, lights we got in here. 
bought them from Home Depot and they suck. Alright. That's pretty good right there. And then now we're gonna... Alright, and then what you do is you take your doodad, you find a stray one, and you kind of just run it through. There's a little hole in here. That's actually pretty clear, so that should be good. Take a little Hard cleaner, soak it again, wipe it down. Good. All right. And now we can jump on back over here. This is sat long enough as to where I can work on it properly. I'll give it a little wine swish there and trying to get it as clean as you can. Probably at work that have us just replace this bowl, but I'm not gonna do that because the bowl doesn't really do anything at all. So clean the outside a little bit. See. Oh, we do have holes in this one, so I'm going to have to get my wire brush. And you're going to take one of these. I, can't, I don't even know if I'm in the camera here. And uh, string it through a clean one if you can find one. String it through there. Maybe even two if you want to. Take it out, look around, usually there's one, oh, there's one. Uh, I guess they make these holes smaller now. Oh, I guess that isn't even one. But usually there's one up here too, I guess. Whatever engine that is, I don't even know, it looks like Tecumseh or something, cheaped out, so. Take this, blow it out. Good enough. You didn't have to see that. That's self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. Oh, garbage a cleaner. I'm surprised this doesn't have a plastic ball in it. I mean, a, yeah, float, I mean. Told you I was back because I've been inhaling fumes all day. It's good for you. Uh, and then just clean this guy off. Not really. It doesn't really collect anything. Ooh, my gloves are decomposing. They're getting swelled. Okay. So now this is done. And I'm going to cut this so I can get over there. Alright, now it's time to start putting this back together. So I'm going to get my chair here. Got to save your knees, gentlemen and ladies. Uh, what am I going to do first? Put this in. See, normally uh, the camera isn't here, so this wouldn't really be a problem. Alright, uh, so let's try to get this in here without any too much drama.
crap. Oh, got it. Alright. Now what we're gonna do is stab the pin in there. actually don't like that adjustment too much. That's okay, I guess. And what we're going to do here is put this gasket back on. Sometimes these gaskets are a bear to get back on. I don't know why. It's probably the gloves. Hold out today. <laughs> Real cold out. Big Dirty got some new shocks because it was. Oh, I'm getting a text message. Good. It means people like me. Uh, what is going on? Piece of sh poop. And then the higher side goes where the fuel comes out. And no, I didn't just make that up because it says push to prime, but that's how I do it with everything. That's how it's supposed to be done. Threading in you friggin' jerk. Alright, well, you all get that point, so uh, let's. It actually just started to thread, so I'm gonna put this back on. Two bolts, or two screws, I guess. Um, and I'll get it going. I'll throw the blade back on for shits and giggles so you can start it up. Throw some oil in it, throw some gas in it, and it'll be done. All right, I'm gonna fill it up with gas. Oh, it's got the good vented cap. Come on, I've never seen a lawn mower like that. I've never seen that brand. I'm making a video. This thing works. Or I'm gonna look like a fool. Alright, it's gonna chew up the tarp. Good to me.